I want to get into what is hypertension and basically why all the doctors are crazy about uh, treating it. Now, just giving you a basic idea, about one third of urban population, so about 33% of urban population has hypertension and about 27% in the rural areas have hypertension. So it's a very big problem. So what exactly is hypertension? When we talk about hypertension or a better used word is blood pressure, um, it just means the pressure that is exerted by the blood, uh, the volume of the blood on the arteries that it's carrying in. Um, now, as we all know, we all have a heart on the left side of our chest and it's the one that's pumping and it's pumping and it's making sure that all the blood is propelled through the body to each and every corner, each and every muscle, each and every organ. So that's the receiving end and the blood, as you all know, carries oxygen, it carries nutrients. So the heart pumps and there's an ejection or there's an increase in uh, pressure and that's how the blood propels forward. So as you've probably, you know, if you've ever checked your BP, you know that there are two readings when we talk about blood pressure. So the first one, the top one is a systolic blood pressure and the bottom one is a diastolic blood pressure. Now the difference is systolic blood pressure means that your heart has been pumping. So the systolic pressure is usually the higher one because that's when your heart's pumping really, really hard to make sure that the blood that is projected forwards. So at that point, the pressure is uh, calculated in millimeters of mercury. You can think of it as a, um, a garden hose. So when you have the water on and suddenly you go full throttle and there's a huge burst and so the pressure will obviously increase. The normal range for this is about 90 to 120. When we talk about diastolic blood pressure, we're talking about the uh, pressure when the heart is actually at rest. So between each contraction, there is a rest phase uh, of the heart. And even if the heart is resting, you can't have a lack of pressure because otherwise the blood will start going in a backflow. So to maintain the forward propulsion of blood, there is still a little bit of pressure still maintained in the arteries. So that's called your diastolic blood pressure or uh, you can um, almost imagine the garden hose, you've got the tap going but not at full throttle. So that ranges at about 60 to 80 millimeters of mercury. Now I want to talk to you about why is this so important to know? Why are we doctors going crazy about treating hypertension? Well, um, I just want to take another analogy and I want you to imagine, I'm sure you guys would have done it, when you were a child, you know, you uh, probably stuck your head out of a moving car or a train and while the car is going, you know, cruising speed or the train's just picking up, that feels like a pleasant uh, wind, you know, against our face. And we all enjoy that, um, you know, the, the wind's blowing in our hair and it feels good. And that's good, right? Now, imagine when the train picks up the speed, uh, you know, in the night when you're traveling or you're traveling on a highway. Imagine then sticking your head out that's going to feel a little awkward. I know because I've done it when I was a child. Um, there's an enormous type of pressure which almost does not let you breathe. It's too hard and it's too suffocating. Now we'll translate that into hypertension. Our bodies, our organs, the, the ones that are on the receiving end, like our heart itself, our uh, liver, our kidneys, our brain, our eyes, they're on the receiving end of these arteries, right? So they like to work under normal pressure and it's pleasant. But when there are sustained high levels of pressure, it's almost like being, you know, uh, slapped in the face by a really, really bad wind. And that leads to complications at, uh, you know, some point they're re reversible and later they become irreversible. So there's a lot of damage that happens with sustained high pressures, which we want to avoid, which we want to not let the patient reach or reach at, a, you know, a, many years down the lane. So that's why we're all crazy about uh, treating hypertension. Of course, we all know one of the major complications of um, having high BP is heart attack, myocardial ischemia, myocardial infarction. It could also be something like stroke, you know, where you, uh, you have a stroke and then you're paralyzed. All these things are permanent. These are not reversible, but there are stages where we can make these things reversible. Things like kidney damage, nephropathies, things like eyes. I mean, they're very tiny organs. So you can just imagine being, um, you know, uh, subjected to such high pressures for a very long time can cause uh, irreversible 
irreversible damage and we'll pick this up in the next video and i want to pick up on what are the risk factors what are the things that you can do in terms of helping yourself uh, get a good bp control now i have something for you guys i really want you to measure your bp um it's great if you have a BP monitor at home. If not, you can purchase it. And I think if anyone who is 35 and above should have this uh, BP monitor at home, it's always good to measure. And um, in the next video, we'll find out what are the symptoms. But just try it out. I want you to measure your blood pressure and uh, put it in the comment section below. And we'll just see how many people didn't know or are surprised by the kind of blood pressure readings they have.